<laughs> okay, Twilight's Kingdom. Part 1, and this has a 9.2. Jeez. So, this episode has been so severely hyped up, and really there's nothing that this could be that could possibly not disappoint me. I mean, really? Because it's like, because this is, th these are the two episodes that I've heard that this is what you're, this is what people say to watch, and then that's why people like the show, is because of these two episodes. So, there's that, but then it's also like, there's been the build-up thing with like, the different characters getting the items, and I guess it's like, each item is like a... It's empowered with their <laughs> with their friendship of magic or whatever. What the hell did I just say? And so, like, I guess each item is going to be important for this box thing that was introduced. I don't know. Twilight also hasn't gotten an item yet, so I don't know. That'll probably come up in these episodes. Um, I am going to watch both of them at once. Um, just going to do one video per episode, though. I don't want to combine any. I've also just been anticipating this so much. Like, I'm just, I'm so curious as to what's going to happen. I mean, this could literally just be them, like, sitting in chairs, talking for 40 minutes, and I'd still... <laughs> I'm still just, like, curious as to what this is going to be. Um, I mean, obviously, it's about something important, I and mean, it's Twilight's Kingdom, so I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Celestia will just die, and then Twilight will be uh, will be the new Celestia. Though I, there's no way that's gonna happen. That's way too dark uh, for this show. But okay, <laughs> time to watch this garbage, or maybe it won't be garbage. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. All right, I forgot to... This is also, like, I'm imagining, what if this was the first thing I watched, like, before I saw anything else? Because that's what some people have said. Okay, and so they're in the Crystal Empire again. They're mentioning what uh, Spike was doing. And so Twilight's not looking forward to this. She doesn't want to do the princess thing. So Twilight doesn't think she's that important, but they are encouraging her. Pretty typical of the show so far, just kind of characters talking. we got these abomination characters. Like, <laughs> these costumes look so stupid, but... Whatever. Whatever. They're probably referencing something, I just don't know what it is. Oh, okay, that's all she had to do. Uh, this garbage theme song? I don't know, starting out very typical for the show. This intro still makes me want to die. Okay, they're just... Twilight doesn't feel like she has a purpose in being here. Uh, okay, so Twilight doesn't feel important at all, because the other three of them do something important. And here comes the song. God damn it, I guess the singing is fine. This is just them saying how she's feeling and not showing it. She's kind of just said the same thing five times. I don't know. Like, I get it. She doesn't know what she's trying to do. She feels useless. I get it. Now they're all singing. I am bored. <laughs> This is, this is pretty dumb. Look, well, I don't know, the song isn't necessarily bad. It's just, it's just boring. Like, I'm not in pain. It's not like when Pinkie Pie was sing is singing. Okay, it's just a dumb song. I don't know. Just kind of saying stuff that they established in the cold open, and then a little bit after the theme song. Not really much with that. And so now some crazy shit's gonna happen here, I guess. I got this creepy alley. This hooded figure. So this guy is creepy. Now oh, he's taking the magic from the horns? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he's taking the cutie mark. Oh no. He's evil. He looks like, uh, what are those monkeys called? With the, like, like red butts or whatever. Wait, that was a dream? That had to have been real. Okay, so we got this crazy asshole who's gonna suck their cutie marks away and their magic away. So he's Tyrek and Scorpo. Is it really just gonna be directly giving lore exposition? Ugh. It's just such a lazy way of doing storytelling. Oh, so... Twilight can't actually stop. Twilight's not able to stop the thing, but she wants to send Discord. Okay, they're going to the castle, and I guess on their way, they're gonna find the guy, I guess? The evil guy? Oh, there's Mary Poppins. Discord? I don't know. I'm pretty bored, though. It's just kind of a lot of setup. Pretty much the same kind of thing they did in the other two-part things. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's the box. Bringing that up. <sighs> Okay, it's Discord being weird. There's some creative animations. I'm still so goddamn bored, though. Okay, they're gonna try to figure out the chest thing. It is kind of just a lot of talking and moving around and more talking. So now it's she's gonna read their journal entries. Okay, back to the crazy shit. You got the monkey-looking ass guy who's uh, zapping all the magic out. So these two assholes. 
What? <laughs> so Tarek is trying to manipulate Discord? Okay, so Tarek is trying to convince Discord. Discord's not sure what he wants to do, it seems. I guess there's also, like, an actual reason to be scared of this Tarek guy. Because they actually immediately established him as evil and dangerous. Okay, yeah, so this is all about the special items. So now they're gonna go back to all these items, and then this is what's gonna be important. Okay, they're just going through each scene. I don't know. It's kind of boring. It's just whatever. It's kind of weird that they these bookmarks are out of order of the events that they happened. I don't know. Just some inconsistency there. Yep, there's all the special items. I don't know. I'm guessing they're just gonna have to activate some kind of magic. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so each item's gonna turn into a key, one that gets thrown in there. And so all five keys are gonna go in, but then there's Twilight's thing that they don't have yet. So she has to figure out her purpose in life or whatever to get the last key. <laughs> Hasn't she done some magic shit, though? I don't know. Okay, and so now this is gonna be the big adventure thing she has to do. <sighs> okay, so Discord got manipulated by Tyrek. And now he's stealing all the magic. Big evil boy. And now he can take away flying. Wait, what's he taking from the Earth ponies? Their strength? Okay, whatever. Okay, so he's the most evil guy in the universe. He's gonna steal all the things. All the magic. But of course... Okay, so those four are gonna get rid of all their magic. Okay then. Eh. So really nothing that... I mean, okay. <laughs> What the fuck am I saying? Okay, so this one has, like, story stuff going on, and it's, like, all a bunch of crazy shit, but, like, I don't know. Overall, I didn't really feel anything. It wasn't, like, that funny. I mean, pretty much predictable. Like, I don't know. Certainly not anything to... Not anything that special. I mean, like, okay, so the plot. So Twilight has to do this, like, uh, meeting thing. She has to basically just smile and wave, and that makes her realize that she feels pointless, because it's, like, she doesn't have a purpose as being a princess. But then there's this evil guy that that's sapping the magic from all the characters, the unicorns and whatever. And uh, that's Tyrek, and there's this lore dump about him. And so then the, they send Discord to stop Tyrek because they think Discord has changed, but not enough to... Discord gets manipulated by Tyrek, and now they've t Discord and Tyrek have teamed up, and they're just ruining the world or whatever, taking all the magic away. Um, and so meanwhile, the main characters are trying to figure out what's up with the box. Then they figure out that each of the items they got don't, had the little rainbow glow. Each of those is important, obviously, and each of them turns into a key that opens up the box, except they're missing Twilight's key, and so then, obviously her key is gonna be this magic adventure that she's gonna go on in part two, and then they're gonna open the box, and I don't know, it's gonna be in the box, something. But then this ends on a cliffhanger of, uh, Celestia saying that they ha that the four princesses have to give up their magic just so that Tyrek can't take it. So I guess, whatever, that's a big deal. I don't know, I didn't really feel tension, emotion, <laughs> or anything, really. There was I think the first half of this was pretty boring. Kind of spent a lot of time on just saying, oh look, Twilight's sad because she feels like she doesn't have a purpose as a princess. It's like, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of ways you could have done this in a more interesting way. Tyrek is another villain that just comes out of nowhere. That seems just to be the standard. I don't even remember the explanation they gave. He just, he was imprisoned and then somehow he's free now. I don't even remember. I give this part, I don't know, five and a half out of ten. I mean, I isn't. I didn't get angry, but I was bored at some points, but at least I had a, a story going on, so it's something to focus on. Really nothing special, though. And people, a few people in the, the I Hate Everything video were saying, like, that you, that you should start with these these two episodes, but, like, if that episode was your introduction to the show, it's like, I mean, not a lot, I guess enough of, it would make enough sense since they dump so much lore. I don't know. It wouldn't really make as much sense, though, without seeing all the other episodes. Like, I think, if I saw, my point is, if I saw this episode first, I would be just as dis as uninterested as if I saw the first episode first. I mean, they are they both do have a pretty similar, like, format. They both give you a lure dump, introduce a villain who's some big threat, and then all the characters have to stop him, and I'm guessing in the second part, they're just, the villain's gonna be defeated, and then either there'll be a two-part thing at the beginning of season five that'll do some other villain thing again, or it'll just go back to the episodic stuff that it's been doing throughout season four and so on. So, eh...